Yeah, my name is uh, Francine Schneider and I'm the coordinator of the master program in health education and promotion. Uh, and in this program we used a creative way of PBL and we did it in one of the courses and the course is on changing health behaviour and in the course students study determinants of human health behaviour. Yes, um, in this course we study human behaviour and we know that human behaviour is really complex. So there are a lot of factors or we call them determinants that cause humans to behave in a certain way. And that also means that there are a lot of methods that need to be used to change all these determinants of human behaviour. So we wanted to address as much methods as possible, but without increasing workload of students too much. Uh, so that's why we decided to look for a creative way to achieve both of those things. Uh, and in addition, uh, we also put, uh, wanted to put a larger emphasis on uh, presentation skills, as that is a really important competence for each health promoter. Yes, yeah, so in order to um, uh, look at both of the content of the course but also the presentation skills, uh, we decided to flip the classroom in such a way that students actually become the lecturers. So we came up with the concept of mini lectures as we call them. Uh, so that means that every week uh, we have three uh, different methods to change one determinant and um, two subgroups of students, three to four students, are appointed to each of those methods. And uh, every week, uh, those two groups of students, they study that method in depth. And one of those groups actually at the end of the week gives a mini lecture of about 15 minutes to all other students. So by using that method that students become expert in one method uh, and present about it, but they also hear about the other two methods because that is presented to them by the other students. So uh, there's still the same workload, but they have more content because they also learn from the other students. Okay, so every week we select uh, three methods that can be used to change a determinant and uh, uh, two groups of three to four students are appointed to each of those methods. Uh, so that means that uh, those two groups of students, they study the method in detail and one of those groups is actually going to prepare a mini lecture and present for about 15 minutes um, to all the other students. So uh, in practice that looks like uh, a session with uh, three mini lectures each week uh, and the idea is that the students become uh, expert in one method, but they also hear about the other methods because the other students are presenting about that method. Yeah, the challenge is that uh, first the insecurity of students, uh, because students can be insecure about presenting, but also about um, getting to hear about important information from other students because they really have to rely on each other. Uh, and another challenge is quality assurance because we as teachers um, cannot expect students to be expert in a topic so we really need to assure the quality that that is what is being told is also correct. Uh, so in order to address those challenges uh, we have feedback sessions so before students provide the mini lecture they send them to us as teachers but also to the other group that prepared the same method but it's not presenting and they receive feedback. So then they know that what they are presenting is actually correct and the other students also know it. But of course we as teachers can also check whether there are no mistakes in the slides. Uh, secondly, we also have really clear guidelines on what should, uh, which topics students should address in the mini lectures so they know what is expected of them. Uh, and thirdly, we also have summary lectures. So we end the day uh, with a summary lecture of one of the staff members and there the most important information of each method is uh, summarized in order to make students more secure about what they learned and that that's actually correct. Yeah, well first, uh, uh, learning should be constructive. So uh, we start the week with a brainstorm about a case that is actually from practice in order to uh, stimulate uh, students and activate their uh, prior knowledge, uh, they have a brainstorm. Based on the brainstorm, they actually uh, try to look for literature and they make their own mini lecture. And then of course they present the lecture and in the lecture they actually need to apply what they've learned to the case that was central in that week in order to activate um, deep learning. Um, second, it should also be collaborative. Uh, so interaction uh, is really important uh, because we know that stimulates learning as well. Uh, and in this uh, strategy with the mini lectures, there's a lot of interaction. Uh, firstly, within the subgroups of students, they have to prepare the lecture, so there's a lot of interaction between them. But also with the other students, uh, because they receive feedback from students, and also uh, questions can be asked during the mini lectures. 
And also there's a lot of interaction with teachers, of course, because we need to reassure them, but we also provide them with feedback in order to optimize their lectures. Uh, thirdly, there's also uh, contextual, and that is uh, also really uh, important in this course. So every week we have a problem that is actually from practice. Uh, for instance, uh, we have one case which is on binge drinking among uh, high school students. And we know that one of the important determinants is that they don't perceive the risks. So in that week we have three different methods to address risk perception among those students. Uh, and each group has to present about the method that can be used to change risk perception, but they also really have to apply what they've learned to that example of binge drinking in high school students to make it more contextual. Uh, and finally, it's also really self-directed because students are really responsible for their own learning process. They have to find the literature themselves, they have to uh, put that in a presentation, and they also have to present uh, and transfer the knowledge to the other students. So they are really uh, responsible and in charge of the own learning process.